So, a question for you. Why medicine? I'm supposed to tell you I care for my fellow man. All right. That I chose this path because it allows me to accomplish a greater good. Are these things not true? Perhaps. But that's not what guided me now. For me, it was a less abstract thing. I like money. There are other paths to fortune. Uh, what better where to pedal than life? Nothing else is as precious nor so desperately craved. And no price is too great for the man or woman who fears an abrupt and permanent end. Your words are cruel, Benjamin. But true as well. You took an oath to help people, did you not? I abide the oath, which makes no mention of price. I merely require compensation, fair compensation, for my services. And if they lack the required funds? Then there are others who will serve them. Does a baker grant free bread to a beggar? Does the tailor offer a dress to the woman who cannot afford to pay? No. Why should I? You said it yourself. Nothing is more precious than life. Indeed. All well, the more reason one should ensure they have the means to preserve it. If I may, I was curious about your past with Braddock. You two clearly have a history. Edward was one of us upon a time. I considered him a close friend. He was brave and bold in the ways few men are. But everything changed at the siege of Bergen op Zoom. We had lost the fortress to the French and were in the midst of egress. There was a skiff hidden at the port with which we planned to make our escape. As we drew near, a young man and his family came upon us, begging for safe passage. I consented. But Edward refused. The young man called him Craven then. So Edward killed him and all the rest. Even the children. To this day, I don't know why. Was this the first time he'd struck out? Or had I simply never seen it before? Either way, things were never the same after that. We campaigned together a few more times, but each outing was more disturbing than the last. He killed and killed. Enemy or ally, civilian or soldier, guilty or innocent. It mattered not. If he perceived one to be an obstacle, they died. He maintained that violence was a more efficient solution. It became his mantra. And it broke my heart. I had no idea. He hides it well and intimidates into silence any who discover him. Those who persist have a tendency to find misfortune. And we should stop him. I suppose you're right. But I maintain a foolish hope that he might yet be saved and brought back round to reason. I know, I know. It's a silly thing to believe that one so drenched in death might suddenly change. I'm sorry to have brought us up. It was not my intent to sow you. Nonsense. We are brothers now. There should be no secrets between us. Gentlemen, I believe I found the solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. Are you? Are you a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. Allow me to explain. We enter Silas Fort, under the pretext of kinship. Once inside, we spring our trap, free the captives, and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. Then, let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy.
convoy should be here soon. We'll attack on my signal. Understood, sir. If we time this right, we can catch them all unawares. Saddlers of the first water. <laughs> Charles, you and Williams serve as vanguard. Let no man reach us. What about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. We're here to help you, along with those held inside Southgate Fort. Free me. Not until we're inside the gate. I can't chance an inspection of the gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. Lieutenant Colonel George Washington has led troops in an attack on the French. The French... Do you know anything of Silas' operation? How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses? You must be rather important to him if you were given your own escort. Sir, we've enemies ahead. Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of them. As you wish. I wish you'd trust us. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. So be it. Say the word and I'll come down. Me and you. Who's your officer? Engage the enemy.
Hold. Evening, gentlemen. Stay your business. Delivery of Silas. Go on. You see, I'm freeing you just as I said I would. Now, if you'll allow me to explain. Let her go. But she'll give us away. No, she won't. What's the plan? Free the captives and avoid detection. What of Silas? He dies. They know when you're ready to strike. change of pace from the campaigning back home. Why do you think so many of us volunteer? Good pay, safe work, you know, the chance to us well. Friends will get into that. I don't know. Well, like the yeah. Sometimes I wonder if it's not we who provoke the whole sort of your expeditions. Ha! Ah, exactly what they want you to think. Such a shame. The colonies are meant to be an opportunity. Not another war, right? Slouching, soldier. Beg pardon? I said stop slouching. Who are you to tell me what to do? Good friend of mine. for me tardiness. Cutter had me working late. <laughs> well, who do you think got me this post? We well, like brothers. Well.
An hour of quiet was all I asked. Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this cacophonous madness. I expect an explanation, and it had best be good. How? How did this happen? My precious merchandise set free! It's unacceptable! Rest assured, I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess! Seal the fort, kill any who try to escape. I don't care if they be one of us or one of them. To approach the gate is to be made a corpse. Am I understood? What happens now? We wait. And not for very long, I suspect. It's been several weeks now since we freed the Mohawk prisoners from captivity. I had hoped their leader might make contact, but there's been only silence. My men grow restless. They want to know what comes next, and I do not have an answer. Lee alone remains active, pursuing leads, however slight. He stalks the city streets and scouts the bordering woods, hopeful that he might make contact with one of those we saved. There was a woman there that night. It was she who helped the others to safety. If we can find her, I believe I'll have my answers. So, I watch and wait, hopeful that my true mission might finally begin. <laughs> 